So you are seven months in to being a counselor. This is your first time getting involved in the world of politics here. Is it everything you dreamed of and expected? Absolutely. You know, this is something I really love doing. Um, you, you already know me by way of profession. I'm a police officer. And the reason I ran for council about seven months ago, a little bit over that, was to extend the public service that I was already doing in that capacity and to really do that in the local community in which I live in. And this is another means for me to, you know, be who I am as a person, which is somebody who's dedicated to public service and also to give back to the community that I've lived in since 2012. Now, just following you along on social media, you do seem extremely active in the community. It's quite impressive, actually. Uh, what impact do you feel you've made to this point? You know, at this point, it's still very early, but you know what? The feedback that I've been getting from lots of residents uh, is that it's overwhelmingly positive. You know, it's, it's something that people are noticing that, hey, yes, this guy is a new counselor, but look, he's keeping us informed. He's engaging with us by coming to events, by advocating our voice in council, you know, it's, it's something that is exciting for residents because they're seeing the true impact of what happens when you elect somebody who's young, diverse, energetic, and somebody who's already extending a role in public service into this capacity. And I think that's what's really valuable to residents. Now, up to this point, though, what challenges have you faced that you, you didn't expect and didn't know of? Yeah, you know, there's some things that uh, residents will reach out to you, and I'll, I'll talk about Go Transit in particular, because that's really a, a big topic right now for concern in our community. Um, service changes by Metrolinx, by Go Transit, affect commuters here in Milton locally, but council doesn't necessarily play a direct role in changing those services provided by Metrolinx and Go Transit. We're just an advocate body and we can express and pressure Metrolinx and the province to make certain changes. That's something that's a bit of a, you know, struggle because we aren't able to change certain things and other governments and other levels of uh, organizations have to make those decisions. So we have to just be the best advocates we can be. Well, you're a town councillor now, and you're clearly very active, and I can just definitely tell by talking to you, you very much care about what you do, but along with that, you're still holding down a full-time position as a police officer. Uh, when do you sleep, my friend? Yeah, well, you know what? I try my best to get my eight hours, but sometimes it can be a little bit difficult, but like I said, this is something I love doing. It's something where I really have a deep passion for, just like I do in policing, these I'm honestly the luckiest person in the world quite frankly that's how I feel because I get to serve my community where I live but at the same time serve the greater community in where I police and and being able to do both and being able to bring that perspective from that community safety public safety work that I do as a police officer into the role of municipal politics is so unique and it adds a whole different perspective when I'm you know looking at decisions or, or items that might come for consideration in council all right. Well, you're a politician now, and politicians get the tough questions. And I'm going to ask you one. It's going to be a little bit personal. Sure. You had to make a choice, policing or <laughs> politics. What would it, you choose? That is, that is a tough question. But you know what? I, I'm going to go with the policing side of things because that is something that I've always wanted to do and something I've wanted to do first. And I achieved that by working really hard to get there, but I'm not like politics is just very little bit below that, but it's right up there as well with, with policing as well. You know, it's uh, I'm so glad that I'm able to do both and it's something that I would never change. Well, I can tell you're a new politician because you actually gave me a firm answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I try to answer questions the best I can. <laughs>